it was really an evening for teachers because for maths teachers because I feel that they're not getting enough attention. All the teachers I meet are very keen to teach and very keen that children should learn. But I think maybe they need a review of the way to teach. And I think lots of interesting stuff was said this evening, particularly by Dame Alison Peacock. Who knows what she's talking about when she's talking about teachers? And I really feel that that is not my speciality. My speciality is presentation, because I'm a visual person. I'm also a writer, but I'm primarily a visual person, and I come from a design family. I've been working in maths for nearly 15 years now, but only in the last two years have I decided that it was time to focus on maths anxiety only. And if I feel something, I used to work on newspapers, I used to be a woman's editor, and it's generally about to happen. I thought this evening went very well, and what I really liked about it was the range of different perspectives that were being presented. So it's not often you get the parental perspective and the pure educational psychology perspective, and of course the mass education people together in the, in the same space. So I thought it was wonderful that we weren't just getting the mass ed story or the psychology story, but that range across the whole, the whole spectrum of work that's going on in this area. So I think in, in terms of progress and taking things forward, there's the beginnings here of a really interesting group of people who are bringing diverse but complementary views on, on the whole issue of maths anxiety and any way that we can continue that conversation and come together and begin to formulate. I mean, it was interesting, the, 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 the professors from Derby talking about looking at some small-scale research. We've got also work that we're doing, so sharing the sort of work that we've actually got going forward and, and looking at how we might build on each other's strengths and maybe come up with some collaborative project that would take these different and complementary views, I think would be a really powerful thing. I thought it was brilliant. I thought there was a wonderful audience and it somehow seemed to resonate with a lot of people who've been thinking about this idea of maths anxiety. And suddenly they thought there's something we might do about it or understand about it. It was a wonderful mixture of research and also practice. Now is the time. It seems to be coming up with lots of uh, from lots of quarters about the idea of emotions and maths. But before we just talked about mathematics and do, con, you know, doing better at maths, I think now probably is the right time to say this is where we've got to take emotions and anxiety seriously.